A high yield topic for the biological science section of the MCAT is enzymes. Now enzymes are biological catalysts. If you remember from your general chemistry reading, you know that catalysts increase the rate of reactions by lowering the energy of activation. Enzymes function in the same way. By lowering the energy of activation, an enzyme will speed up the rate of a reaction. Many biological reactions are reversible. Enzymes have the same effect on both the forward and the reverse reaction. It's important to remember this, since enzymes will have no effect, therefore, on the position of the equilibrium or the value of the KEQ, the equilibrium constant that describes that equilibrium position. There are two general models that hypothesize the way in which enzymes interact with their substrates. The first of these is the lock and key hypothesis. We have this demonstrated for you on the board. In the lock and key hypothesis, the three-dimensional conformation of the substrate fits exactly into the three-dimensional conformational space of the active site in the same way that a lock and key will interact in a very precise way. In the induced fit hypothesis, however, the active site of the enzyme only approximates the three-dimensional shape of the substrate. Interaction between the substrate and the enzyme's active site induces a conformational shift in the active site to accommodate better the nooks and crannies of the substrate's structure. Remember that enzymes are biological catalysts. They increase the rate of reactions by lowering the energy of activation, but they have no impact whatsoever on the position of equilibrium for a reversible reaction or the value of the equilibrium constant that describes that equilibrium position.